Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas uh, with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, you can get it for about $60. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. Uh, this is QID 1283062. An investor opens the following positions. Buys 100 shares. Whoa. The minute you see the stock, you say, ah, this is a stock position. Stock dominates. God forbid you can't distinguish between a covered call, agreeing to sell stock I own, any naked call, agreeing to sell stock I don't own, entirely different positions. Here I have 100 shares of SSG at 48. That's what dominates. You can't let the option tail wag the stock dog. So once we get that stock position, we know that when you buy stock, you are bullish. And so this is a bullish position. It doesn't matter if we buy a put or we write a call, the stock dominates the position. Then it says we write one SSG December 50 call at three and three quarters. Pretty cool. You know, we're going to get paid $375 to agree to sell stock at 50 that we just bought at 48. That's a pretty good deal. And that will lower our out-of-pocket cost. We'll have three sources of profit. One source of profit is the difference between what we paid for the stock, 48, what we got to give up the stock at uh, 50, that's one source of pro profit, that's two points there. We get the premium, that's $375, and then we get any dividends along the way, so pretty cool. We do get uh, some price decline protection because we're lowering out-of-pocket cost. Uh, so what I like to do, what I like to do is not testable, it's a buffet, take what you like, leave what you don't. But I like underneath the option leg, that's not testable, that that's called a leg, but that's contract specifications. So what I have here is an obligation to sell the stock at the strike price. That's what that does. So I highly recommend as part of your you know, process, you want to might want to consider on your official scratch or whatever saying, okay, what are the contract specifications? So if this was long put, for example, that would be a choice to sell SSG. Uh, what is the customer's max gain, max loss, and break even? Ooh, so fire up the T, fire up the T. I like to use dollars out. Dollars in. Some people like to use pluses and minuses. Some people use debits and credits, whatever floats your boat. So in terms of my initial setup, I'm out 48 for the stock. Uh, I'm being nice there and putting a minus because I know some people use minuses and pluses. I do not, but you know, you got to find a process that works for you. Uh, I don't like dealing with the fractions. So that three and three quarters is 375. The way you can turn that into a, get rid of the fraction and just take three divided by four. And that is 375 in. So that's my initial setup. Now I can either memorize break evens for a covered call. You know, God forbid you think the break even here is 53 and three quarters call up. No, if this was a naked call, that would indeed be the break even. This is a covered call. This is the one time and the one time only you're actually subtracting to get the break even. What you're doing is subtracting the 375. So as I said, you could either memorize that. At this point, you could actually shop your answer set and look for a number that if you plugged it in the box would make the columns balance because that's what break even is. Break even is the same dollars out as dollars in. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can simply memorize that the break even in a covered call is stock cost less premium. So 48 minus 375, 44 and a quarter. Please note if I plugged 44 and a quarter into that question mark box there, the columns would uh, balance, and that's what break-even is. Same dollars out as dollars in. So we have our break-even of 44 and a quarter. At this point as a test taker, I could shop my answer set and eliminate any of the choices that don't have a break-even that is 44 and a quarter. That alone will typically get me a 50-50. All right, so onward and upward here. Uh, by the way, I would do the break-even in terms of my process all the time as part of my initial setup, even if they didn't ask me that. I would still have a uh, T that looks like this. All right, so next thing is my maximum gain. Well, this is the disadvantage of a covered call. 
you don't participate past the strike price. You know, I think of options as being about floors and ceilings, and there's a ceiling here at 50. And so you're going to have to give up the stock at 50. So as we said, the max gain here is the difference between 48 to 50, that two points, plus the three and a quarter. So our maximum gain is $575, five and three quarters. Now, again, you could either have the T here and be able to track the money, or you can memorize that the maximum gain at covered call is the break even, 44 and a quarter, because that's what I'm net out of pocket, and I got to sell it at 50. So that's how I'm coming up with that uh, number. Or you could just do the T, subtotal the columns, and that's another way to go. Okay, so now we have our max gain, which is five and three quarters points. And remember, points times 100, there's 100 shares. I highly recommend you do things on a point per share basis. And then when you're all done, look at it. So now we have two of the three things we're being asked. We have our break even, 44 and a quarter. We have our maximum gain of uh, $575. Again, we might want to shop the answer set and see uh, if there's any choice that uh, only has those two, because that would be it. And then the maximum loss. Now, again, if you think this is a naked call, you'd say unlimited, but no, covered call. The worst case is the stock goes to zero. If the stock goes to zero, I lose 48 points on the stock. I get to keep the 375, so I lose my break even. I lose 44 and a quarter per share. On 100 shares, that's $4,425. So again, that would be uh, our max loss. Now we have our three things. We've answered the question. We've determined our max gain is 575. We've determined our max loss is 4,425. And we've determined that our break even is 44 and a quarter. So again, uh, I hope that was helpful for you. This is a covered call. You could encounter four or five covered calls on your series seven. So make sure it's something you know how to deal with uh, as a test taker. Uh, remember inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch and yard by yard. Your Series 7 is hard, and I'll send, uh, see you for the next explication request.